out here on this property we were out this morning. We stayed out here till 9.30. And uh, we decided to leave and get on some feet and walk the property. We walked probably about 90 or 100 acres. And uh, here it is, 10.45. And the birds are in the field now. I guess it was because of the weather. It's been really, it's been a mixed weather. It's, it was spitting rain there for about five minutes. It was sunny, it was cloudy, really windy. Then it wasn't. We were just about to pack up and go to lunch. And as soon as we did, we dropped our gear at the truck and I heard this thunder gobble. Daniel heard it too. We both looked at each other and he's like pointing straight to the blind. First, I thought he was over in the private that's next to us, but uh, he was in this one. And uh, I was actually gonna let that bird work a little more. I was let, gonna let him come all the way up to the bank because he, he seen that decoy and he, he was ready to fight. Uh, but I decided not to. I didn't want to get him spooked because my barrel was already hanging out through the tail fan. And What is it, 20 yards? I bet we go take a look at him. All right, guys. Getting over looking at this bird a little bit and he's, he's a beautiful bird. I mean, he's got a monster head. That's probably the biggest headed bird I believe I've ever seen in my life. But he was right in the middle of breeding this hen, which I think that's probably a cause of this. Why his head is so big. I mean, you can compare it compared to my hand, how big this head is. That's probably the biggest headed gobbler I've ever seen. But uh, I think the reason it's so big like that and all that red's in his head is because he was in the middle of breeding that hen when we walked up on him. I kind of snuck around the corner and popped that decoy and started turning it and popping it. And, he got off her and came straight to me. And uh, I, I let him, I mean, he was, what was he, 75 yards out to begin with? Mm -hmm. I think he was about 75, 80. And I let him get to about within 20. And I, I was wanting to let him get a little closer, but I wasn't about to take a chance. I didn't come all this way to tennis, or Kentucky not to get a bird this year. So, but, I mean, he don't have a paintbrush, but he has a rope on him. I mean, that's every, every bit of 11. We'll measure it when we get back to the truck. The spurs definitely aren't Tennessee spurs. I mean, they might be three quarters, seven eighths. Oh yeah, beautiful dark fan. So I guess this wraps up Kentucky. This is my uh, 2022 Kentucky bird for uh, for me and SBL. My boy Danny here. He's gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get him a bird this evening. Maybe tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can uh, get another bird down.